Greetings. This will be a videotape on the lessons how to pen the insects. The first one I will show you how to pen the grasshopper. There are two different ways to pen the grasshopper. Either by using outline first or just splash the ink onto it. I will show both. Started with uh, the eye with two suckers. And uh, here, the mouth part and the head. And after that, we have uh, the two lines indicate where the, the wings are. And from here, we have one, the other one, Then um, this part under the wings, we see just a little bit. Then after we have the outline done, then we're going to have color. There are different colors, some are brownish, some are grayish. I'm going to give you a green one. I purposely leave one spot not covered by my color to suggest the highlights. The body usually lip the reddish. Since the wings are very much uh, transparent, we will use very thin color. Then I finish the grasshopper. I will show you the running star, the quick stroke. Then instead of uh, making two circles, I will make two dots. And here we go. And for the wings. And for the body. And after that, then we give some accent. For example, putting color here to indicate where the back is. And it was a very strong color to have the legs in front. It starts here. Surely, I missed two things for the first one. I will do this now here. And for this one, surely. Okay, I finished the, the quick stroke. I'm going to show you a grasshopper from left to the right, I mean facing right, and coming down a little bit. Not just the 
snipe you. This time I will just front. I have finished that. Now, sometimes we may add one or two lines to emphasize the uh, the wing by have some outline. And uh, I will do one more on this side. Also with a brownish color. Sometimes I hesitate to add this because the wings still are really wet. I have to wait a little while. For example, this moment I am making on the other side. And I believe this is about the time. Have another one added onto it. Then. Enforcement to suggest the and also the shadows here. Okay, I finished the painting. I also have to remember. <laughs> I'm going to make flower first. Relationship with the uh, grasshopper. Now I'm going to prepare the pinkish color or rather purplish color for my flower. I'm mixing red and with uh, blue. The most important thing is uh, how much water should supposed to be here. And uh, many times, uh, uh, when you have too much water here at the top, the ink may run very much. If not enough, the flower will be very dry, not good at all. Now, if I need more ink, I will mix once again to produce more. But the situation is very interesting, meaning 
I only have color from the tip to maybe less than half way. The upper part still was all white. Now, here I'm going to paint. the side stroke to steer the side stroke. I'm going to make another flower behind this. And there we go. Okay. Then I rinse my brush. I will take uh, yellow and uh, mix with the uh, so I will have a little bit green on my brush now. The same situation, water, yellow, and green. Another tip I may take a little bit of black. going to have leaves. To have uh, leaves large size, I need more color, more ink on my brush. I need more ink, so uh-huh. Now this leaf coming down, I'm going to put a, a grasshopper on it. Since the flower on the left side, I already plan to have a grasshopper moving towards the center of my painting. The transparency of the wing, just because I use really light And the movement is very close to the bamboo leaves. Only I hesitated here a little bit. So we have a, a not a pointed ending, but a almost a square ending. And this is a little bit brown on my green brush. Now, I just mentioned I always hesitate to put the big one in front of this because it's still too wet. Now I'm going to put the, the leg for the other side. When the brush you feel a little too dry, you move slightly slower. When the brush is too wet, you move faster. And this, it just came from some other place, so it just landed here. Suggesting 
they are outside border of the Finish the inset. I'm going to sign here. And here, surely we could have some more things for my flower. Uh, some accent. Some. Uh, yellowish color for and the stamen and the very important is we emphasize the beauty of uh, Telegraphers stroke. Okay. Okay, this is the whole painting I just uh, finished. First I will show you the outline butterfly. With a very light, gentle gray outlines. And uh, first I will show a butterfly showing four petals. So I'm using a smaller brush and having uh, very light grayish color. Actually, the, the container here contains a little bit of uh, ring and a blue here. But my idea is to have a brush, some gray color. Now, my brush must be pointed and also the upper part dry a little bit by doing this. The way of making a butterfly, the first line is always here. The second line will be here. I just mentioned this butterfly will be open, showing. Okay, then. Then, so there are two pieces, big one connected to this part, and the two small one connected to the lower part of the body. Because the wing opens like this, we do not see too much uh, the feet. Okay, then. I'm still using very light, very pale gray. It doesn't matter a white butterfly or a red and a brown or black. This is the basic play, the same. And uh, Now this is a, a butterfly uh, landing and we are seeing the back and I said we do not have a chance to see any feet. May have some uh, accent here and there but this is enough. I will show you a uh, butterfly here uh, with
this uh, side view. Still, we're going to have an outline. Okay. This is the big one. And I will show you the yeah. The other side, this one, for shorten. And also this part, on the other side, we cannot see. Now, in this case, we're going to see two small ones on this side, and one big on this side, and two. They are just suggested. Okay, then. Same system. You notice that I make one section like this and one section like this. This is supposed to be a butterfly always like this. Then I will add to make some accent I may add a few actually some artists like to put a white dye but I belong to the school they did rare case to use white and this can be considered uh, same like this but it's foreshortened may have a few dots to indicate the body here. All right. Now I'm going to finish this one. I, I pause here and I pause here. Make sure my brush is not too wet. Then I move quickly. finish these two butterflies. To have a freestyle butterfly, same position like what I just did. Uh, when I say freestyle, I mean I will have a lots of uh, ink. Now I'm having yellow uh, with a little brown. One and a two. Then I need more ink. I'm going to do the same. Yeah. Same position, they are all are frying. This two with the wind open, this is showing the side view. Then I'm going to have uh, then I can just randomly put a few dots on it. I may add a few lines still like what I did uh, for the other one.
lines, it's kind of lines, almost like when you pin the flower leaves to add the vein sign. It helped a great deal. Okay, I finished this uh, free start. This will be a, a bigger butterfly, but I will have still the same kind of a idea showing they are flying, they are landing. This is the half. Surely I could have another one here showing the top view. But uh, this one I'm going to show you. Still the same system. I have outline complete. I may color the whole thing with yellow, with pink, with gray, but this time I will add quite a lot of things uh, there. First, I will give you some gray. By doing so, push this wing at the back. Then Each section I put one block dots. Then I'm going to have some reinforcement to make this part heavy, separated from the background. have to wait for her to color this one. I will make one more down here. I start very much the same. So this one, ah, this one, do the same. I'm going to color them by using different uh, idea. This one will be yellow, this one will be
I purposely leave one place not touched. When the whole thing dries, this part will become a highlight. Since uh, the, this petal is uh, the rear front, I mean the top, and uh, actually this is the inside, so we have to have a much stronger color for this one. And a much lighter color. Again, I keep this place not to touch. Then I finish this outline. Now, now I'm going to show you how to paint the B. And I have to explain to you, this is the tradition way. And this is what my teacher taught me to paint. And uh, you have to pay attention to, this is not an uh, illustration of uh, B uh, for a book. Uh, scientifically, we study what the shape of light. And uh, my teacher taught me to paint bees, most of the case because there are two ink marks on paper. And he said, uh, what will be the next? He said, turn it to a B, to B. Is the idea of, uh, oh, I also have to tell you, we may have uh, one this way, and another one that way. I will put a few dots here. And to suggest that the wing moves so fast, so we usually just put a very quick strokes there. And uh, I will make one or two more. I think I'll be to put it this way. Then I have very light gray. When it's a vertical to me, I move vertically down. When it's a horizontal to me, I move it from left to right. And sometimes we may have few lines really uh, suggesting the, the quick movement. Okay. I'm going to paint the uh, West Area flowers and add bees, either this corner or that corner. I have a clean brush in my hand. I mix blue with my pink. I 
I found my collars very strong, so I add a little bit of water to dilute the to dilute my cup. This is the first step. Then I clean my brush. I will once again have yellow and blue. I'm going to have a yellowish green. And after this, then I know where I'm going to have leaves. Because all the leaves were on top of this. Actually, I run out of the uh, ink. I recharge it. But this time I will not add uh, block. I will just have yellow. And I will even much a lighter color. I need some darker one here, some kind of an accent. All right, then the veins. I'm going to have the veins. Surely this we usually call the calligrapher's stroke, meaning I'm doing some uh, Chinese writing. You notice I hold my brush vertically, and I'm moving such a way with a pause, and a move, pause, and a move, pause. the young ones. Then this part will be the B. I'm going to have a light gray.
there's uh, no definite rules for composition, but there's something important is uh, the movement of our eye. Uh, usually, the art book says the painting is uh, the word created by the artist. And this word you are going to enter by entering here. You move here, stop here for a while, and moving here, and moving here, and end it with this. So it doesn't matter which part is heavy, which part is light, our movement, I mean the movement of our eyes, supposed to go such a way like this. It doesn't matter for our painting or a tree or a landscape. We usually follow that idea. I will make sure my gray is uh, light enough. Okay. I may add a few called the fungus dots to reinforce the straw. Sometimes I should say it's not necessary. And uh, I prefer to have my signature here. I'm going to show you how to paint a prey mantis. Uh, most time we use green to paint a prey mantis. A very bright green, very bright yellow green. Now I'm mixing yellow with my blue again. Actually I learned from my teacher the same kind of procedure I will have. And from here, then the body usually will have a reddish or brownish body. Then the wing once again will be almost transparent. I'm going to use very light ink. some action. I, I think this is the time now for me to put up from here up. So the body and wings and uh, the feet are very much remain the same. 
and uh, only this part different and this the head part different. I will try to complete this painting. I have no idea yet. I first I will make uh, some leaves to let this uh, against the setting eye. It's my habit, I always use only one brush. Surely, some school, some artists uh, always use different brushes or different. And uh, also, I like to mention uh, one thing here. The daily Lee usually will have uh, six, but uh, my teacher say make the five. Uh, when I was uh, young, I asked questions, say why? Why make only five? My teacher said five is more beautiful than six. <laughs> so I remember that. I'm still making only five, uh, not, not six. That means if you study this flower carefully, you will notice that three big ones, three small ones. But I still enjoy making I'm going to have a few accent. I use color also very spontaneous, not like uh, other school. Very much uh, emphasize what color should be used here and there. Actually, this color is a darker uh, brownish color. It because I still have some color on my brush. I dip here to clip the green. So it become a very interesting color. And uh, I do not believe we should uh, Pay that much attention, say what the yellow should be used, what blue should be used. Uh, since uh, too much movement on this side, looks like I have to bring people's eyes. One circle here, another circle here. I have to bring people's eyes back to my flower. So this part will be my writing.
I finished the painting. This is the close-up. I will talk a little bit of the composition. You see, I start here. The major movement surely goes this way. But also, I add flowers going up and the leaf going there. Uh, how many places we could assign or to put some writings? Surely, we could have here. And this way is actually you are not going to worry about uh, damaging the composition or not because this is only like uh, another leaf being added. You may sign here, put the uh, writings here. But I were not considered as a good idea because this looks like a landscape painting got two mountain peaks, same height. This is the reason why I put the writings here. Uh, the day lily flower in China is a symbol of mother. And uh, so inside the uh, uh, big building, usually we see uh, some sign says this is the Xuan Tang. Xuan Tang means where the mother lived, and where the bamboo will be the father's places. And uh, when you uh, eyes move this way and stop here, and they're going up and they're coming down here. Now before I put the uh, dragonfly. Uh, on my painting, I would take a um, bit of paint. I would make a uh, pinkish flower, and a very young leaf. From the center of this young leaf, I put a few lines. Since I put so many lines on this side, definitely my dragonfly will be on this side, flying towards the flower. But before I put a dragonfly, let me finish the lotus part. The way I'm making dragonfly, I will start with two circles, and the body, then I color 
the eye and I put it yellow for the body. Now I will use really light gray to indicate the, the wing. If you watch carefully, uh, the movement of my brush is very important. I move this part downwards, but I move this one out here. And uh, the signature could be here, could be here. But I will not do something like this to uh, I just mentioned about it. it's too much uh, uh, two peaks for this painting. So I finally I made decision to make uh, not necessary to have all the fine lines to indicate. The important is the freedom of your stroke. The important is, uh, uh, I usually use the words, the happiness to suggest life.